Hello gamers, I am here with the Atari VCS 800 a Collector's Edition once more for another video. I have purchased a SanDisk portable SSD. This is a one terabyte SSD and uh, it plugs into the back of the console via USB port. So, I'm going to quickly load up. Uh, basically, once this USB uh, SSD is plugged into the back of the VCS, when I power it up, it will boot straight into Windows. Now, I had to do a few things to make that happen. There were some programs that I had to download that I'll link in the description. Um, basically, I had to create an ISO file onto the SSD ISO file of Windows 10. Then, of course, I had to type in a code for, you know, a purchased version of Windows 10, you know, whether it's Home or Pro or whatever you like to use. Um, of course, there's other OSs you can try, but me being keen and used to uh, Windows 10, I thought, let's see how that goes. So, uh, without any further ado, let's head over here. Okay, boom. <laughs> so this is, this is what my typical PC would look like. Same background, all, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, I have Adobe here uh, because I thought, you know what, it'd be really cool uh, to install Photoshop and run some of these other programs here that I have available. So I'll go ahead and install Photoshop. So like I was saying, um, we only have eight gigs of RAM here. So earlier I was uh, installing the Creative Cloud here. I was installing a couple games on Steam and I had an internet tab open to maybe one website. And it said not, an, not enough memory. I got an error and it said not enough memory. I d don't think I've seen that since like a Windows 95 computer trying to run dial up and, you know, do a couple of things all at the same time, like download a single song. You know, I haven't seen these type of errors uh, show up very frequently. Okay. So yeah, just kind of showing you the capabilities here. You know, even with this neat little SSD, not exactly the greatest thing in the world. Now, let's look at Steam. Just just while we're, I can pause that if need be, if we feel like that's gonna <laughs> slow down our system here. All right, so, you know, Steam here looks uh, pretty familiar. Now, well, that, that can't be right. Oh, I can stream. Oh, okay, well, I didn't really. Well, that's, that's an interesting alternative. Okay, so where are the games I, uh, the, the literally installed, I, I have this one installed, Spelunky 2. Hmm. Perhaps streaming the, the game could be uh, more reliable. Hang on, I think I need to... It's going to mess things up. I need to unplug this mouse. Um, got a few things here. I'm able to sync your files to the same. Over here. Close a few things. Okay. 
Let's go back. So, okay. I didn't have this option show up the first time about the uh, streaming. Enable. No, we definitely don't want to launch a game if it's not going to pull up anything. So I can select where I want to play it from. Okay, here we go. Looks like it's running this time. So we're starting up the game. I'm going to go back here if they'll let me. Okay, it's almost done. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Usually doesn't take this long uh, to even launch Spelunky. This is an indie title. This is uh, pretty easy to run. So some of the games I decided to download on, uh, on the VCS here for, uh, for Steam was Spelunky 2, uh, Streets of Rage 4, uh, the Messenger, another uh, Metroidvania, you know, very very simple game here. You know, we're not we're not too crazy. I thought about maybe even downloading Stardew Valley, um, but so far we got nothing. Uh, not even the game has started to launch. So let me double check over here. Let's see what's going on. Okay, Photoshop is still going. Looks like we had Spelunky. It was it was just starting to come up. Uh, here here's kind of the other flaw is uh the controller that does come with the Atari VCS. Now that we're in PC mode, um, we don't we don't have access to any of the the fanciness that allows this controller to sync up to Steam here. So odds are I'm going to have to plug this in as a wired controller. So this is what I experienced earlier. Um, it got as far as Moss Mouth. There's a fantastic group here uh, that makes a Spelunky too. And uh, yeah, like uh, that's not going very well. So... Yep, and there's Steam not responding. So, you know, despite this thing having what it has, you know, we've seen, I've done a little bit of research uh, before I attempted to make this video, and what a lot of people were trying to do with this was run emulation software, and that would often fail. Um, some people were trying to run games like uh, Fortnite, Left 4 Dead 2, um, like older uh, Valve titles, Half-Life 2, stuff like that. Not really like trying to run high-performance modern games. Nobody was really trying to run Cyberpunk on the VCS. Um, but, you know, just trying to do like indie titles and basic stuff here and there. So, uh, we'll, we'll let this go ahead and finish since, since we're humoring this. I'd like to see uh, how the VCS uh, does simple tasks, okay? So, you know, we'll let that finish up. Let's, let's load up a, a web browser here. Let's see. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, this is Opera GX. Love it. Um, let's see. Uh, let, let's go YouTube. Sorry, I got two, two keyboards here. Okay, so if we go to YouTube, all right, that's, that's fairly quick. Uh, let's see, let's see if we can find my channel here. Let's do that. Okay, there's there's today's stream. Um, watch, watch something. PS Five, yeah, this is some PS Five gameplay. Interesting. So now that we're in PC mode, 
Okay, well let's let's keep an eye on the video there and see how that's running. Things change a little bit when we go into PC mode. All right, so if we go back over here, uh, trying to hijack the best holiday, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, Talking a little bit lots about of really that. cool stuff going around okay, here. So we had to tweak a few things to get it to go through the uh, HDMI cable. Every 20 okay, so let's let's turn that down a little bit. So now that we know that the sound's working, okay, this is a 720 60. So okay, you know. That, that seems to be running pretty well. So, live stream there. Uh, seems to be fine. Okay. Uh, looks like we got Photoshop here. So, let's... Go ahead and drag that to the desktop because I wanted to be able to um, potentially make thumbnails for videos. Just do uh, simple little things using the VCS. Potentially have this in another room so that I'm not always in here on my gaming PC uh, doing all this work. So let's just see how long uh, it takes uh, to bring this up. Can it manage it? Because, like, right now I'm thinking if it can't even pull up a game on Steam, then a lot of the usefulness of this uh, PC mode has has fallen uh, out the window if it can't run basic things. But if it can do tasks, uh, the general, just standard, cheap PC that you buy at Walmart or Best Buy for two or three hundred bucks, then okay, at least I didn't waste all my money. Okay, so we don't, okay, bringing up a lot of stuff right now. Um, let's see, let's, let's see if we have an image on our, on our computer here, our VCS. I don't think we do. No. We don't really have anything we can uh, edit. But okay, it looks like it's it's brought it up fairly well. Exited the program pretty well. All right, so I'm gonna say Very strange. Okay, uninstall. I'm just going to install Spelunky. Because that doesn't seem to be working. Let's try Streets of Rage 4. All right. Okay, we got a little first time set up. That's fine. Okay, okay, this is promising. We got a little something launching here. And let's let's do something else. I I don't know how much less we could do here. Here are my thoughts on the current situation. The Atari VCS is a novelty console. Um, you have a smooth-feeling modern controller. You have an interesting throwback to 
classic joystick gameplay that's been uh, relatively modernized. You have some interesting novelty titles uh, that you play. Nostalgia. Now it just... I don't know why it keeps doing this. But it seems to be confused. About what it's booting into. Um, so, you know, it's really great for Asteroids, Missile Command, Super Breakout, whatever. Whatever's installed there. Um, this PC mode is not worth your time. Not worth your energy. Um, I bought a spare mouse, spare keyboard, and probably spent about 150 bucks or so on this SSD. And it can't really run these um, games that are low performance indie titles. I'm scared to pull up Solitaire at this point. Um, and of some of the demos we've seen online of, you know, running games like Left 4 Dead, Fortnite, All Guys, whatever low-performance titles people have tried, um, they're usually running these titles on low 720p. And this console, as we have it here, is not breaking 60 fps it's hardly maintaining anything even below that so we saw that simply just loading up streets of rage was enough to crash it. um so is this console a whole waste no there's there's something interesting to be had here there's something retro to be enjoyed um but I think if you're buying it for the sense of the whole package, this PC mode is a massive failure. And it's not that I'm wanting it to run Cyberpunk or anything. You know, I'm fully aware of what it, you know, just by looking at the specs, you know, what, what could it run? What should it be able to run? Um, what's, what's like the lowest bar that, that we could leap over? Just, um, it's not good. Um, of course, the specs of this console are pretty low compared to the Series X and the PS5. So there's not much we can do about that. So let's let's try let's do Streets of Rage Four one more time. Just make sure it wasn't a fluke. Okay, well, just gonna do that first time setup again. Okay, we're starting up. I've actually uh, plugged in the controller wired this time. No, let's... What do we do? Let's get right into gameplay here, as quick as we can. But yeah, you can see how it, it can stress out pretty quick. Okay. somewhere here.
we're not having any uh, performance issues with Streets of Rage. So that's good. Now let's let's try something different. Let's try stream. You're about to run this game, play it here using remote play. Okay. Let's try that. Because this stuff is doing something weird now. Oh, it's, ooh. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> it's, oh, don't do that. No. Let's, can we cancel this? Oh, wow. It's, it, so it, it's not streaming the game. It's, it's literally going to stream OBS. What a failure. <laughs> Please, please let me open up Spelunky. Don't don't embarrass us all. Okay. Let's let's stop that. That's Well, hang on. I'm hearing Spelunky. So yeah, we, we kind of see how this is going, right? <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. Trying to be nice, but, but that's not... That uh, might be a little bit of an unfortunate situation. Let's try... Let's try something else. Let's... uh. You know, maybe Spelunky 2 is just too high performance. <laughs> Let's see. So I did download uh, the Messenger. This is this is not very taxing either. Okay. Yeah, maybe Spelunky is just... Which is unfortunate because Spelunky is really fun. It'd be really good to play. Okay, so the messenger. Um, yeah, let's let's use this old file. I don't want to go on my main uh, stream file here. Okay. I believe this is a, a boss fight here. But let's just see.
that kind of works. Uh, so let's go ahead and quit to desktop on that one. Uh, let's not get crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm real curious about why I shouldn't have deleted Spelunky. That was, it might have been a rash decision here, but let's just see. Right. Okay, so what it's doing is it's pulling up the program. Which I see it loading on my on my PC because of course I have other monitors here that are connected to the PC that we're recording through right now. Supposed to be should be doing something. Okay. Oh, we're having a connection issue. Which is kind of impossible because we're literally hardwired in this room. Okay. So that's that's a fail um i don't know if it's gonna let us <laughs> bringing up my chat from earlier um oh hang on okay so what it's doing is it's streaming to my it's using my third monitor my vertical monitor So not getting in the air. Yeah, and we can't. Monitors. Let's go ahead and say quick game. Okay. Well, so the streaming thing um, can backfire pretty easily. Um. It looks like we got two games. We got Streets of Rage 4, and uh, we got The Messenger, which we had both of those installed here. So we have a one terabyte SSD here. If you look right here. And we use that program, uh, Win to USB. Uh, that was our way of being able to. Uh, download the ISO file from Windows, from Microsoft themselves, uh, for Windows 10, and then we use this program to essentially make the 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 flash drive, make whatever we're plugging it into. I think that the uh, SSD here or flash drive, whatever you're using, actually is a disk. So it kind of tricks it, tricks it a little bit, and we're able to install Windows. And it was easy. It was a cinch. It took a few minutes. Um, so we have things here, we got Photoshop, um, we tested a little bit of Steam, uh, we tried watching a video on YouTube, um, I just wonder how far we can go, uh, let's see, let's, let's just kind of do one more thing here, uh, sorry. Wrong keyboard. Sorry. CS. The different keyboard. But yeah, this this in essence is what we have.
So they did say there would be hundreds of Atari games. I think it's more like 20. Now you do have Antstream Arcade, but you do have to pay money if you want more of that. Um, jury's still out on that. We'll, we'll do future videos more on the retro gaming. Um, but this here was really just to be as honest as I can about the PC mode here, what I think, how it works. Um, so obviously it's very temperamental. Um, it's not like your standard gaming PC or even my laptop or even my little um, Microsoft Surface tablet could probably run games better than this. Um, uh, I'm being a little mean here, but I mean, I'm, I'm honestly extremely disappointed for something that even knowing spent $400 on, um, can't even do the bare minimum. I mean, this is like, Nintendo Switch can run most games better than this. Um, so yeah, we do have the option to potentially stream games from my PC, and I could potentially uh, do some more testing on that and see how certain games run. Might be some possibilities there, especially if I'm not using my main monitor here. I think that's why it's kicking it over to the, the vertical one. Uh, and as we saw the first time, it tried to go on the monitor that's showing OBS. So that would also be bad, but not as bad. Not as bad. Um, so I will do some more tinkering, uh, but... First impressions of the PC mode is it's got a long way to go. Now, I understand that I am a backer of this and that uh, they, they're they obviously going to be patching and doing things like that. But if you were to be interested in pre-ordering all that kind of stuff right now, I can in good faith tell you that the PC mode is something, a feature you should be excited about. I think it's a feature that could grow. It, it's a feature... That obviously, you know, this thing, it's not going to magically, the hardware is not going to magically upgrade. You can, you can, you know, they have mentioned that you can swap out the RAM and, you know, add an internal SSD. And then, of course, we have one, two, I believe four uh, USB 3.0 ports. So, I mean, you've, you've got space for keyboard, mouse, controller, um, potentially a hard drive or two or you know, maybe just switching out hard drives as needed. Um, I think a lot of people were talking about using different SSDs for different OSs, you know, potentially being able to boot to Linux and then, boom, maybe plug in another one uh, for Windows and be able to do that. So there's that. Um, so as, as far as that goes, you know, it's okay. It seems like it's able to, to do some of the basic stuff here. Um, really all I wanted to be able to do, uh, as far as like, uh, if I wanted to do something like non-gaming related in PC mode would, would probably be to just like pull up YouTube, be able to look at my videos, fill in the descriptions, make a thumbnail, you know, just do some of that extra stuff that I do after stream, but be able to do it in another room, maybe kind of relax and just have an extra keyboard and just do some quick typing, get in those, get in the description, get the thumbnail made, and um, get our <laughs> get our end card in there. You know, just all that all that extra stuff that that keeps me here hunched over my desk. I, I wanted to be able to get some of those things done. You know, just later on, I could I could pull vods from Twitch or wherever my video sources are. I can easily get them up on YouTube and then go from there. So, um. I'll have to get back more on the Steam stuff. I'll, I'll continue testing games. And I, I want to see how far we can go. I want to see if we can play certain, you know, maybe like 360 titles. You know, I was thinking Payday 2 would be a nice one, but that might be too, too high performance. And, you know, I might have to run it on low, which might be really disappointing. But Stardew Valley could be a possibility. I'm just thinking about, like, what, what kind of games... Are kind of low performance that you that you could easily play. Um, of course, we know Left 4 Dead's an option, um, but do you really want to be turning down uh, games from five, ten years ago more 
down to low on your VCS just so you can play them? Probably not. Uh, but anyway, those are my final thoughts. Uh, we were able to use the controller once we got in wired. Um, there's nothing to be too impressed by, but um, this is an interesting take. It's an interesting angle. And as, of course, I'm going to be watching the VCS very closely. I'm, I'm going to be playing a, a lot over the next couple of months. I've been dabbling with some of the retro games off stream. And I've really enjoyed it. Um, so some of that stuff is really cool. But essentially the way I feel tonight is that I pretty much bought like a an Atari Classic. So much like we had the SNES Classic, the NES Classic, the Genesis Classic, right? We had these little novelty consoles that were like 20 bucks or whatever, you know, and or 50 or 70. And... You know, we bought them, and they had some games pre-installed, and they came with a controller, and it, it just reminded you of the good old days. You were able to play all that stuff. There you go. So I feel like I, I paid for one of those, except I paid $400. Uh, you know, and I did get a few extra features, and, and there's something interesting to be said there with the angle they're, that they're going for a modern console. Um, but it doesn't hold up to not I mean it doesn't even stand with the Xbox One, the PS4 below that. So there you have it. Um I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed the Atari VCS coverage. Um I know tonight sounds kind of down and dreary. Um, but I wanted to be really honest about this particular feature. There are other things about the Atari VCS that I'll praise um, up and down. You know, we'll make more games, uh, uh, more videos about the retro games. And of course, I'll, I'll never stop singing the praises of the joystick and the modern controller. I think they feel nice. I think the console looks good. And I think that, you know, the... The actual boot to Atari VCS to the main console, I think all that's fine. I just think this PC mode is disappointing. The PS3 had another OS, and it ran Windows Vista better than and, and did a few things on, on Windows Vista that I was really surprised that I was able to do at the time. So, I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it informative. And please await some more videos on Atari VCS. Take care and good.